hey guys welcome back to my channel this video will be on cracked ice nail tips i got these i'm not even joking about a year ago i just haven't had the chance and i haven't remembered that i purchased them so i'm gonna show you guys um how they come out if they're worth it um and just the whole process of me using these now this is not just for looks it actually is 3d like they pop out so i was just worried that the, i would end up making them too thick just to cover the thickness of the actual design that's popping out and as i went on they did look a little bit more thicker than i normally am used to doing but they weren't extremely thick or anything and you can always file the top of it if you really want to it doesn't really damage the design it just makes it a little bit more flatter um the next thing is i'm just measuring them to see which ones fit now i'm not gonna lie right here i did struggle just because the sizing is really off in these i don't know if it's just these in particular or if there's different ones but whenever it didn't fit, if it was too big on one finger, I went down the size and then it was way too small. And then if it was too small, I went up a size and it was way too big. So I did have to clip some of the corners before I applied them on my finger so that they can perfectly fit. Um, I did go up a size and use the bigger ones on my nails. But it was just weird because anytime I've had bought nail tips, I've never struggled on the sizing as much as I did with these. Now I'm just pushing my cuticles here with the straight cuticle pusher. This one is from Sally's Beauty Supply. I actually went about four days ago when I went to pick up my groceries at Walmart. Because um, I usually do my pickup groceries. And I stopped by Sally's and they don't have any of these. So I don't know if it's just my Sally's or anything. But they don't have any more and I really needed to stock up on them. Now I'm just using one of my sanding bands. And I'm just cleaning up my nail plate. Getting rid of any dry cuticle that's stuck to my nail plate. And making sure that it's ready and prepped for the next step now excuse my nails i am a nail biter and i do also bite my skin that is a habit i have that is one of the reasons why i started doing nails on myself and went to nail career because i do bite my nails so just excuse them you will see a little bit of a uh, tears on the sides and i did get pretty deep on my index finger and i did bleed a little bit before i even did this on my nails that's why I took some time off because when I first remove them, I always have some damage that I do with my teeth. I just can't help it. So I always have to have something on and I won't touch them after that. So like I said here previously, I'm just prepping my nails so that I can apply the nail tips and then move on with acrylic. And I'm just showing you here, I already glued my thumb before I pressed the play button because I do that a lot. <laughs> and um, I'm just showing you here with my straight nipper, with my straight clipper, my bad. I'm just clipping off like the corner tips of it to apply these. Now, if you have way smaller, thinner nail beds, I highly recommend just doing a straight cut across and getting rid of the little pointy part of the nail tips because they're useless they literally poke out so it just helped me by cutting the sides of it and a little bit of the pointy part of it to apply them a lot better and get the perfect size so i did have to do that to every single nail tip because like i said i couldn't find one that fit from sidewall to sidewall which was annoying but there's always a way to figure it out and also if you do not want to file the top of it like after you apply your nail tip some people go in with the file and file up like the top of the nail tip that connects to your natural nail i love doing that it was a struggle doing this because of the texture on the nail tips to go in there and not end up filing off the texture <laughs> nail tip so here i'm just showing you i don't recommend doing this to a client on yourself you can be a little bit more careful and i'm used to doing things on myself first and trying it out to see if i like it and as you can see i'm just taking off the little pointy part the part that's sticking up that what didn't want to hold down with glue as much as i tried um that's all i'm doing but the way i'm doing it here you have to be very very careful and experienced with the nail file or else you will damage your nail and mess up the nail tip as well so i don't recommend doing this to a client i recommend just clipping up the whole pointy part of the nail tip straight and then applying it to the 
client's nail or yourself. Now I'm going in here with Enel Couture, the primer for acrylic nails. Um, and I'm just doing one layer. I normally just do one layer. And then I'm going in here with my own mixes that I make. I make my own color acrylics, both the pink and that glitter coral color I did. And I will link down below the video where I make my own color acrylics and glitter mixes and the steps that I take to do it. Now, like I said, I did not turn on my camera before I started doing the thumb, but towards the end of me applying these nails, because I do go off of frame a lot, I did show you on a little nail tip how I did the steps, just so you guys can see the full on steps. So I do use the solid light pink color closer to my cuticle area and then blend it downwards um and then after i do that i go in with the glitter and i apply that in between the pink that i applied and right before going into the design just because i don't want to fully cover the design i tried my best really too low so that i can see the effect still but i did realize that when using a solid color, no matter how light the color is, when you do brush it down, that pigment kind of gets rid of the design, of the ice design. So I recommend if you really want the, the cracked ice design to pop, to try to stick to more of a clear acrylic on the lower part and try to keep the glitter or any color acrylic way up higher than i did just so you can get the full effect so you will see still some of the cracked ice design on here like i said but it's not as pop of a design simply because the acrylic i previously used i ombre it i um that is not even a word i blended it downwards a little too close to the design that it got rid of some of that texture that it was showing and after i apply both acrylic colors and the glitter i will encapsulate the nails and this is when i will focus on the apex this is where it kind of it didn't throw me off it just made me have to learn a new way of doing it so i had to focus on the cuticle area right off the bat and then i focused on the free edge and then i focused on the apex here are the 3d stars that i'm going to be using and i'm just going to use mia secrets monomer and acrylic i'm using mia secrets clear acrylic very very lightly just a small little bead and i make sure it's very wet so that i can apply the 3d stars on there and then after i figure out where i want these stars and how i want them just because when the light reflects on them it's such a beautiful like neon green it looks really really nice and it goes very well with the pink so i apply that let that fully dry and then i encapsulate and like i said i will show my step on how i did the pink with the glitter and then blended it downwards and then i just encapsulate after that
And here's where I'm just showing you how I did it step by step and actually frame <laughs> because I, like I said, I tend to get off a of frame. I try to zoom in to get closer view for you guys, but at the same time, I get so into doing nails, I forget to stay in focused and stay in the frame. Um, so another thing I want to tell you about these tips specifically is that just as the texture is on top of the nail tip, it is also below it so let's say you eat something and you know how sometimes things get stuck behind your nail but you know i always wash my hands and have a little mini brush on the sink both in the bathroom and in the kitchen to scrub my nails to make sure i get it all cleaned out well if dinner gets something stuck it will stay really stuck because of the texture underneath so that's something to definitely be aware of to tell your clients beforehand and if people don't like to feel any kind of texture down there and like prefer a smoother finish these tips are probably not for you but the look and the outcome of these nails are amazing they are a lot faster than actually doing it by hand with some gel and some i know i've seen it done with gel and some saran paper um the saran plastic i've seen that done and this is super fast you can get this done really really quick especially if you only use either clear and some design on there so i do recommend them if you have clients that are very out there and like crazy designs and especially for winter coming right now with all those winter nails and the icy nails definitely recommend it for that but just be aware that there's texture behind it then So I previously went in with my medium safety bit and I just cleaned off the cuticle area, make it as flush as possible, clean up the sides to help me from filing. And then I just go in with the hand file and make sure I make the shape really nice and crisp. I always tend to start off with a certain shape and end up going a lot thinner than I wanted to, but then I really like how thinly the nails look. I just prefer that look, but you can definitely shape these any which way you prefer. And then after this, I'm just going to clean them off and top coat them for the end result. And this is how they came out. I really hope you guys liked them. I did use Enel Couture Shiny Top Coat. I always say it on every single video. That's why I don't try not to mention it too much. But that is one of my favorite top coats. Um, I really like the design. I think these are awesome to use. Especially, like I said, for winter coming. I really hope this video helped you. And I will try my best to look for the link specifically that I ordered these from. And link it down below. If I don't find it, I'll try to find other links with great reviews. But make sure you always, always look at reviews. I did get these from AliExpress. So it will take you a few weeks unless you can find them on ebay or amazon thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and see you guys on my next one